Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. And you can see we've got a pretty big box here. It is at least 12 inches. And you can see it's pretty tall. From Chicago Night Works. We're going to open that up. I wasn't going to make a video today, but I got this box in. I don't usually do unboxings, but um, man, it's either a big knife or a bunch of little ones. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to kill this thing in my wrist. This ganglion fist. I don't think it's alive. <laughs> I'm not going to do this for you. I'm doing it for me. Okay, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, Privet, Guten Tag, Ola, Chow, and Konnichiwa to my foreign viewers. And today we got an unboxing to do. A uh, pretty big box. I wonder what it, what's in it. The only hint is Chicago Knife Works from Marion, Virginia. I wonder why that is, right? Because they're out of Chicago. Oh, that's kind of weird. They have an address in Chicago. So, um, I don't usually do unboxings, but I'm excited to get this. And, uh, we're going to open it up and take a look. And then, um, ooh and ah. And try to catch our breath. Because I'm sure it's going to take our breath away. What we got in this box? Ooh, okay. Multiple boxes there. Multiple boxes. So uh, we know it's not one big knife. <clears throat> so I'll kind of talk about this now. Um, uh, Chicago Knife Works was having a sale. Uh, of course, I was looking for another type of knife. And um, ended up getting a bunch of knives instead. <laughs> Because that's just what I do. You know, I have a plan, but it never really works out. I, I always get sidetracked and find something else. So, um, I think I spend around $30 on this. And it's a Rough Rider Reserve. Not a Reserve Black. And so, uh, I have one Rough, Rough Rider Reserve, and it's pretty nice. So, I decided... You know, for the price, usually these things go for more money. So I would um, go ahead and check it out. Got our little Rust Rider Reserve black little hanky there. It's not a hank. It's a uh, microfiber cloth. I like these. I have a ton of them now, but I like them. What is this? Ooh, ooh, my carta, and yeah, look at that, mm, man, isn't that just done great, look at that, that's why I got this knife, guys, so, um, not cleaned up, not gonna do a reserve on it, looks pretty good, I don't see any gaps in this. Nice snap. Nice. Okay. The review of this knife is going to be pretty good. But uh, yeah, it's a Rough Rider Reserve Sow Belly. I got it for, I can't even remember. It was around $30. I couldn't resist it. It might be less than $30. When I do the review, I'll let you know. Um, what else we got here? Got another one. Oh, it's another Rough Rider. That surprises me. I hope they gave me everything I wanted to get. What is this? It looks kind of weird. The Bax Woods Bushcrafter. Okay. So let's check that out. Kind of cool looking box. I can't get... Sometimes these boxes are really tight. This is tight. I can't... Maybe it opens them. Yeah. Duh. Duh. That's why I can't push it out. I know some of you guys were yelling at the screen. Yeah, yeah, you know, it opens up the front, you idiot. All right. Nice Barlow. Uh, I love copper. I have not 
uh, got any of the Rough Rider copper ones that I can remember. Maybe I have. But this is nice, saw cut bone. And um, I think it looks spectacular with this copper. Just a regular uh, Rough Rider. You can see it looks pretty good. Maybe a little gap in here. Maybe. Hard to kind of tell. Sometimes you get those lines because of the height of the, the uh, things are different. I think that may be a gap. Black blades. Don't usually like black blades, but, you know, it goes good with the copper, doesn't it? Sure does. So, I like that. Nice walk and talk on that. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. Not reviewing the knife. We're going to keep moving here through this unboxing. Short video. What is this? Queen Cutlery. Number one. All right. Okay, this one pushes. No, it doesn't. There it is. It opens. No, it doesn't. I'm looking through the camera at this stuff. I can't see. Okay, here it is. It opens on the side like that. And this is one of the old ones. And so, um, this is from China. And the reason I got this is the uh, abalone. And if that is fake abalone, it's really good. I don't see any lines in it. Nowadays, they're taking this abalone and they're putting little spots. They're splicing it. And sometimes it's done really well. Sometimes it's not. I'm going to put a magnifying glass under that and I'm going to figure out whether it's real or not. Um, seems real to me. So normally, um, abalone will fire up as you turn it. I don't know. I don't think this is real Avalon. Tobias Gibson says this is real. That's why I bought this. I saw one on a video he did a couple years ago. And um, he said it's actually real uh, Avalon. And it could be. But I'm going to check it out. Anyhow. If uh, it's real. Then I'll have to apologize to Deb Tobias. You know he is the man. When it comes to knives. And um. If it's not real, then I'm just right. So uh, I'll be able to tell that once I get it under a um, high high magnification uh, glass. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't think it's real. But we'll see. And if it is, I will apologize to Tobias. And you can see it's made in China. So that's another thing. You know, these things are, are made pretty good. And so I wanted to uh, I wanted to get one before you can't get them anymore. All right, last ones. Oh, man, sadness, sadness. And this is another queen. So, um, yeah, that's so sad. Only one more knife to look at. But you know what, guys? There's a lot of different videos out there. And let's see if I can figure out how to get into this box. There it is. It's got a little top there. And, yeah, a little worn clip. And the reason I got this is I don't have an example of this beautiful uh, saw cut bone. I think this was the original um covers that that when they first started making these queens i think they first come out in the salt cut bone but uh i don't have an example of one and uh you know i'm watching all these videos with these guys have this beautiful bone from queen cutlery and i just wanted an example of it again all this stuff was cheap 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 it was on sale and um I'm probably just trying to get rid of these old queens. Again, that's from China. So, yeah, I like that. That's what our original Warncliffe was. Smaller. There were smaller knives. 
but they have this Warren Cliff deep serpentine pattern with a Warren Cliff uh, uh, blade on them, and possibly a secondary blade down here. But yeah, Ooh. okay, just a quick video, guys. Wanted to show you that unboxing. Really appreciate your support. I uh, hope you're watching. Going to watch the uh, giveaway today. It's going to be at oh, 5, 5 p.m. today. Today is Saturday, February the 3rd. A day that will live in infamy. Because if I can get through the mechanics, <laughs> man, I was so frustrated my first uh, attempt at this giveaway. And, and I'm just... So sorry for my viewers, right? The guys who had clocked in and I finally decided this ain't going to work, guys. I'm just going to reschedule it. So anyhow, for the guys that are going to come back, I really appreciate your support. And you will be rewarded because there's some good uh, good knives I'm giving away. Some uh, other stuff that's good. Uh, Randy's WSG has supplied me with some slips. I haven't mentioned that before, but they'll be going into one of the... Uh, one of the um packs or or maybe i'll just pick different guys to give the slips to i don't know i think i'm just going to put them into one of the regular prizes i've already set that out i already did a video on it so everybody knows what's what's in that and um that's probably the way i'm going to go so have a great day enjoy your saturday it's warming up a little if you're on the west coast horrible weather i sorry for you you know, but um, the rest of the country is enjoying some pretty good weather up in the northeast. A lot of flooding. Uh, let's just keep those people in our thoughts that are still suffering from these winter storms. And uh, thanks again.